for the derivation we start with the free energy that is g is equal to h minus t s substituting the value of h that is h is equal to u plus p v above equation becomes g is equal to u plus p v minus t a t s differentiating above equation because we are focused on change of free energy that is d g is equal to d u plus derivative of p v minus derivative of t s which further becomes d e is equal to d u plus p d v plus v d p minus t d s minus s d t mark it as equation number 2. Moving further entropy can be defined as d s is equal to q reversible by t that is entropy change during a process is amount of heat absorbed divided by the temperature which simplifies into t d s is equal to q reversible. Now further our first law of thermodynamics states that q reversible is equal to d u plus p d v that is change in internal energy and the work done. This implies T d s is equal to d u plus p d v substitute this value in equation number 2 substituting the value of T d s in equation 2 what we get is d g is equal to d u plus p d v minus v d p minus t u minus p d v minus s d t from here on d u is cancelled as well as p d v. So, what we are left with is d g is equal to v d p this is positive minus s d t this is our equation number 3. Now moving further from equation 3 we can consider two cases in case 1 let pressure be constant that is the process is carried out at constant pressure that means d p becomes 0. So, equation 3 is simplified into d g is equal to which is at constant pressure minus s d t or d g by d t at constant pressure is equal to minus s. This is our equation 4. Now, assume that the system changes from state 1 to state 2. Then equation 4 can be written for both the states that is curly G by curly T. This is curly G 1 at constant pressure is equal to entropy change in the first state. Similarly, for state 2 we can write curly G 2 by curly T at constant pressure is equal to the entropy of the second state. Now, we are focused upon entropy change that is entropy change is minus S 2 entropy in the final stage minus entropy in the initial states that what we are left with is S 1 minus s 2. So, substituting the values what we get is delta s is equal to curly g 1 divided by curly t 
at constant pressure this is with minus sign minus minus of curly G2 divided by curly T at constant pressure. So, simplifying this equation what we get is delta S is equal to curly delta G by curly T at constant pressure with the negative sign. This is our equation 5. Now, the free energy change during a process can be represented by delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Substituting the value of delta S from equation 5, what we get is delta G is equal to delta H. Since here is a negative sign, so negative negative becomes positive T curly delta G by curly T at constant pressure. This equation is known as Gibbs Helmholtz equation. Holes equation. Now, equation 6 can further be simplified, simplified as followed. So, dividing this equation by T square, what we get is delta G by T square is equal to delta H by T square plus 1 by T curly delta G by curly T at constant pressure. Now, finding out the value of delta H by T square, we are simply rearranging this equation. What we get is 1 by T curly delta G by curly T minus delta G by T square. This equation further simplifies into delta H by T square is equal to curly by curly T delta G by T at constant pressure. This is another form of Gibbs-Helmholtz equation.